marker. Should I? I don't, yeah, I don't know. No, that's good. We want to see Thor. What about higher up? I look no. kind of fat. <laughs> Those are lives sometimes. <laughs> Dad and mom, happy anniversary! <laughs> Hi, mom and dad, and happy 37th anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary! Um, We love you so much, and here are some things that we are thankful for about you and about um, your relationship. I love you guys. I just wanted to share with you a few things that we're really thankful for you guys about. As I was thinking and preparing what to say, Katie said that uh, it's fine to keep it brief because hers was so long, I guess. Um, so I kind of abbreviated mine to a, just a three-point outline sermonette. So it shouldn't shouldn't be here more than 20 minutes. We are so, so thankful for both of you, mom and dad, for your marriage and um, your relationship with each of us. And um, just so thankful that you have and continue to be so supportive of everyone, all of your kids, um, and especially with us and our kids as we've uh, moved and um, we really just appreciate all the time that you take to, to call and check on us and um, to spend time with us and especially loving on the kids and, and us when, when we get packages and things like that. It's really been a huge help with um, some help sickness sometimes and I know especially the kids really appreciate just the time that you take to check in. Yeah. Philip and Savannah and Paul they tease me that I grew up rich. The joke is that I got to have hot chocolate made with milk instead of water. And I didn't have that until I was 23. So that is kind of like an ongoing joke. But to be serious, I really do feel like, sorry, I have some notes over here. I realized that like as I get older that I truly did grow up rich. Like I feel like our family life was so rich. Our home life was just a rich atmosphere and our childhood was just so meaningful. When I looked up, you might already know this, 37 year anniversary gift material, it was alabaster. And I decided to think about that and uh, made me think of the story about the woman who, well, in one gospel, it's Mary Magdalene, I think, who broke the alabaster jar and poured out the super expensive perfume that she had, um, like priceless. And that made me kind of think, like, how some parallels there with how um, I've never felt that you've held anything back from us or for yourselves. Never any like selfishness <laughs> that I can really recall. You've always been a great example of um, humble, uh, unconditional love toward me, toward us, and you know, definitely as far back as I can remember me, Katie and Steven, um, just pouring out completely your uh, time with us, your love for us and energy. Um, like we joke about mom, that you still writing papers for me because <laughs> how you did that for me, just like staying up late into the night and helping me and um, you know so many other countless examples and I just really appreciate the intentionality that you took with each one of your kids meeting one of them um, my favorite even in the midst of like dad you 
going back for hair masters and all that like you would always throughout all of our childhood just make time with us a priority whether that was play or like serious talk of uh, you know whether it was decisions we had to <clears throat> make and needed wisdom you at mom as well with this definitely um, even in the young adulthood um, or um, if it was an instance where we had done something wrong and it was a discipline scenario and it wasn't just punishment it was it was you know correction for a life and godliness it was training it was yeah Christ centered gospel centered love driven uh, discipline so we want to uh, celebrate with you from a distance and just thank you for the legacy you are continuing to live out of uh, faithfulness toward each other um, loyalty and uh, and just unconditional um, love toward us I think I just honestly took for granted, granted, because um, it's not granite, Dad. I know. Just let that I southern bell come I out. I know you're gonna say, "Oh, granite countertops." I've taken it for granted growing up. Um, it's just I I didn't know like a whole lot of people whose parents like weren't together, but now as I get older. I, I just realized like how common it is to be part of a broken family and I'm just super thankful that um, I never had to experience that and that honestly I never thought that that was a possibility growing up. I just always knew um, that you know my parents were gonna stay together and love each other and love us and that even though that would mean hard times would come, um, you two would choose each other and choose God and choose us. So thank you for that. I'm super thankful for that. I've been greatly impacted by that. Just I, I hear like really kind of sad stories about other people's parents who, you know, maybe did not. Um, love as um, unconditionally or selflessly as you have and I just thank you for that and can't thank you enough for that and we praise God for uh, how he has blessed and continues to bless us through you both and I second everything he <laughs> How could I possibly compete with that? Just kidding. I don't have a lifetime of memories, but I am so thankful for the memories that I have with you and all your influence to make Jonathan the man he is. So. <laughs> I have been impacted also greatly by your legacy, as someone called. No, no, that's the style. <clears throat> and uh, I appreciate the example that you've set, uh, not just to your kids when they were young, but through the many, many years, but not too many, Mom, that y'all have uh, raised your kids and, um, and even had an impact on them in their adult lives. And the three of us who are blessed to be a part of y'all's family um, by marriage uh, appreciate the example and uh, how y'all have just cared for us uh, like your own kids. And that's just been a, a theme in, in y'all's marriage and in life and in this family that you, you care genuinely about people. And I, I appreciate that example and um, the, the ways that y'all have expressed it towards me. I also wanna say a couple more things that I'm super thankful for was just- um... Is there an intermission? Sorry for that intermission. <laughs>
<laughs> this is what Jonathan gets to deal with. <laughs> My pregnancy hormones, I couldn't keep it. He's so sweet. Um, what he said was just so touching. <laughs> but I want to echo that. I'm just so thankful for your faithfulness to each other and to the Lord and to your children, to me now too as a your child by marriage. Um, yeah, we've just been so blessed and I am incredibly thankful <laughs> even, yeah, I know how good the Lord is uh, in giving me not only Jonathan but the family members I've gained through marriage as well and the grandparents that the boys have and just, yeah, the love you share with each other, but also you love us so well. And I'm just very thankful for that. I should stop before I break down again. <laughs> yeah, and a word that comes to mind, uh, or a theme, I guess, is for you both, mom and dad, is um, sincerity, I think. Like, we, I never have to, like, we never, like second guess um, your love for us or intentions or motivations like we it's always very very clear and obvious that you want um, time with us and, and with the boys um, because of how like sincerely you love us um, and that's just really heartwarming to be on the receiving end of that Thank you, and we love you. We love you. Happy, Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. A couple more things that I just wanted to mention that I am um, just so impacted by and grateful for um, is that you did have an expectation on us kids to do our best and work our hardest at whatever that was that we were doing. Um, thank you for all the years of providing for us. I, I didn't have a clue, like, how hard that was or what all that meant and I just appreciate that down to the core in a way that you know I never was able to when I was younger yeah. and I just really appreciate how you guys have modeled just throughout the years of you know being able to not take yourself too seriously or at least one of you and it just always bringing humor into it and the importance of laughter and joy and the small things the small enjoyable things like dancing in the kitchen um. thank you for making dancing in the kitchen normal and uh just like being fun and throwing a frisbee around and um just enjoying one another's company and, and deeper conversation you guys are fun and you guys are the best and we love you a whole lot what do Nina and Papa mean to you? What are you thankful for about Nina and Papa? Why do you love them? <laughs> Can you tell me that? Tell me what you love about them. I love the box. And I'm thinking about resaling all boxes. Okay. What do you love though about Nina and Papa? Papa. Papa? You love Papa? I love that Pip lives with them. You love that Pip lives with them? Yeah, but not really because he barks. I love Papa and Nina and this. What do you love about Papa and Nina? when they come visit us? Yeah, I love when we go to the house! Mm-hmm. Ignore the mess. What else do you love? Thank you. Hi, guys. I am thankful for Nina and Papa because they've encouraged me to do a lot of things and helped me to try new things, too. And I am thankful for Papa, and I'm thankful that Papa and I like to pick up pine cones. And I'm thankful for Nina because she 
And I like cozy mornings. Me too. And I'm just thankful that we're all a family. Yep. Yeah, that's great. That's neat. Simon, what are you thankful for about, about Nina? What do you like about Nina? Uh, Nina lets me sleep in her bed. <laughs> why do you love Nina and Papa? Papa. Uh -huh. why, why do you love Nina and Papa? Papa. Yeah? Why do you love them? What do you love about them? Papa. Papa. <laughs> What about Nina? Can you say Nina? Yeah, Nina, Nina. Nina? Nina? I miss you, Nina. I miss you. you. Want to tell them anything else? Um, what do I, I have a fork on my head. And what do you like about Papa? Yes. Papa is really silly. He's really silly. Yeah. Yeah. And Papa is meals. He eats meals? Yeah, but this I He cooks? Yeah, but this <laughs> I don't like meals. Hmm. All right, why don't you both say, thank you, Nina and Papa. Do you have anything else to say? Have a great anniversary.